Hi, I'm Rick Sellens. I'm going to be your instructor in MEC 217, Measurement of Mechatronics, this year. And I'm looking forward to us being able to do some more stuff in person with your hands on some actual equipment this year than we did in last year's edition. We're going to see some significant changes this year, but the big story in the course is going to remain the same. It's going to be all about using microcontrollers to measure things that are important in mechanical engineering. As you might have guessed, I've been doing this kind of thing for a long time. I got a Bachelor of Applied Science in 1981 from another university, not Queens, that had a co-op program. So I've had an industry focus just about all my career. Right after my bachelor's degree, I went out to Alberta and worked in the oil patch, uh, designing heat exchange equipment and looking after actual fabrication for installation. I went back and did a master's and a PhD in fluid mechanics and combustion and applied that knowledge to go on and do postdoctoral work uh, in Germany at the Lehrstuhl für Strömungsmechanik at the University of Erlangen, uh, where among other things, I worked with the European Space Agency on figuring out why the rocket engine, the third stage booster in the Ariane 4 didn't light on at least one important occasion. Uh, we did a lot of interesting measurements at very high speeds for that because the whole ignition process for a rocket engine is all over in about 250 milliseconds. Back in the 80s, we wrote a lot of code in C to be able to make measurements as quickly and effectively as we possibly could. In this course, you're gonna be learning that same skill it's still relevant in microcontrollers, and I expect it will continue to be a valuable skill for most of your careers. From Germany, I came to Queens, where I've been teaching in mechanical and materials engineering for over 30 years. I've taught a wide variety of courses, mostly around fluid mechanics, design, measurement, and a really interesting course that we put on some time ago on spacecraft systems design, which again involved quite a bit of measurement and, and drew on my experience from ESA. For 2021, you're gonna see a different course than students saw last year. It's changing because this time it will be more in person. It's also changing to allow us to get all 300 or so of you through a good positive experience in this course while living within the facilities that we've got available. You won't see all of the materials up on the OnQ pages initially. That's because we're rearranging them and getting them ready to fit into a coherent whole for the offering this fall. But rest assured, the material will come out before you need it. I'm looking forward to a great term, and I hope you are too.